Praise the Lord, Thomas Manton the fourth here. Okay, here we go. The Lord spoke to me to begin to deal with something, and He said this, I want you to break fear, and I want you to build faith. So I'm going to call this Breaking Fear and Building Faith, uh, uh, Volume 1. I'm going to do this just a very brief thing, but the definition of fear, according to the dictionary, is an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. And that's rubbish. You don't want that in your life. To be afraid of anything. You know, they call someone called it false evidence appearing real or I don't know if you want to call everything false because some things could be real, but it doesn't mean you to be afraid of them. God doesn't want you afraid of anything but to reverence Him. The fear of man has to be broken. Uh, you need to get out of all apprehension of, you know, things about people, situations that are not, or any entity or anything that's not, that's not you know, conducive for your life and we need to believe God. Let me look at the definition of well I know it by memory. The definition of, of faith according to the uh, dictionary is complete confidence and trust in something or someone. Faith in it or faith in them. Well we want to say we have faith in God. <laughs> My hair is its own pattern maker. <laughs> A phenomenon around the world. The prophet's hair. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mike Murdoch was just speaking a beautiful endorsement for me today and love over me today prophetically and he said his hair he says he looks like Jesus and his hair just flows everywhere and he began to speak the most astounding uh, love and uh, an endorsement how he believes in me and, and my ministry and he said this he said he said Thomas Manton Dr. Thomas Manton prophet of God he said people call you prophet but your highest gift is not that I'm listening. My ears perked up. I'm listening. He said, your, your, your greatest gift is your heart. Your heart. Your love. Your passion for God. For people. And your heart is beautiful. He said it. And uh, I want to make that available for people to see uh, him speaking in his own words on that. And I just am enamored with that. And the Lord was speaking about so many things about this next season. Anyway, our faith has to be in God. Complete trust and confidence. The word trust and the word confidence. But fear ends up bringing a snare. You know, it messes your mind up. I want to talk about... I wanted to just say, show you something that I found. Fear causes anxiety, you know? Fear has torment, the Bible says. You know, with that scripture that says... Um, God's not giving us a spirit of fear, but he's given us power, his power, his love, and a sound mind, beautiful mind. 1 Corinthians 2.16 says, we have the mind of Christ. We have it. 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, I or ear hasn't seen or the heart understood yet the great things that God has prepared for the, us that love him, but these things he will reveal to us by his spirit. And then we have the mind of Christ. So, and Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3 says, Be not conformed to this world and all the craziness in it, but be transformed and renewed in the spirit of your mind. Not the removal of your mind, but the renewing of your mind, because God wants us to think. He gave us this mind to think. I posted something uh, earlier you should scroll down a bit because I post so many things, maybe too many things, maybe I need to not post so many things, but just things that I like that will inform people of, of great things and beauty and wisdom and success. I post it because I want to help people. That's, you know, Dr. Murdoch was talking about my heart. I want to bless people. I want to see people raised up. I want to give them resources. When I get, when I see a good word or a good thing or a good uh, bunch of principles or pictures of God's creation or something powerful prophetically that he said, I post all of these things 
And maybe I won't always do it. You know, I, I notice some ministries, they just put their own live post, one after the other. That's it. Nothing else about anything else. And it seems like they have a good methodology to their thing. But you know what I want to say again? I have faith in God. that He's going to provide everything. I don't have to do ministry uh, and bless the world and people based on a cookie cutter, you know, marketing program. Though those are good and they work and people can advise you and tell you, hey, do it this way. Don't do that. Don't do long messages. I, I stopped doing long messages quite some time ago. I think I go up to about 45 minutes now, but I've done several. It's over an hour. If it's over an hour, it's worth watching because it's all good. But then you got to do these little clips. You know, all these things, there are ways to do things, okay? And I believe in that. But you know what? If God doesn't help us, we're sunk anyway. If God doesn't rescue us and provide for his will, if he doesn't bless us and he's not our Jehovah Jireh, what are we doing anyway? So let's all, let's be unique and do it the way uh, we feel to do it. So I posted this thing, 400 quotes from Albert Einstein, the brilliant thinker. Now, those you got to eat the hay and spit out the sticks or whatever, you know, don't chew on the rocks, but... A man that advanced in, in his thinking, you want to listen to someone like that. Someone that's very wealthy and been successful financially in a big way, you should just listen to them because you're going to learn something. They did something you didn't do. Great quote that uh, uh, God gave us was, to be unforgotten, you got to do something unforgettable. So do it. You want to be remembered, do something memorable. Do it. You want to be different and unique? Do something different and unique. You want to be like, uh, stand in a class of your own, like in a realm of wisdom, uh, uniqueness and greatness of your own, then express your uniqueness and your greatness that God's given you and the gift and talent he's given you. Dr. Murdoch was saying, it says, you have many gifts, but boy, your heart is something for God and for people. That's powerful. And he began to prophesy about great connections that are coming. Oh, Lord, uh, I receive. But so, so, so the, the point of that is our trust is in God. Our confidence is in God. He's Jehovah Jireh, according to the book of Genesis, right? Yireh, Jireh, one of his names. It means he's the father. Is a Hebrew definition of Jireh. Yireh, Jireh, however you want to say it. He's the father of an overseer of our life who sees our future and will see to it that it happens. That includes the provision and the money and all of that. Isn't that powerful? He's not just uh, the one who pays our bills or gives us some money so we can survive. No, he has a plan and a purpose. Jeremiah 29 11 says, and he wants uh to pay for everything because he sees our future. You know where you know where God God's where God where God guides, God provides, and what the Father orders, he will pay for it. Father, I thank you right now for provision for your people. I feel this anointing right now to release this word. Yes, Lord, I hear you. To I release provision for your people. Not just what they need to pay their bills and exist another month or two or three or however long but something that's going to provide for their purpose of why they're here on the earth. The great thing that you've ordained for them to be doing, you want to, uh, I want to see you, you want to, and I want to see it, and, I, and the people obviously want to see and receive the great provision that you have financially for them. In Jesus' name, let it be thus and so, and established right now in Jesus' name. So faith is confidence, but fear produces all kinds of disorders. One of them is anxiety, an anxiety disorder. Symptoms, and, symptoms of that include fear, excessive worry, unwanted thoughts, depression, anxiety, stress from your mind. And there's something I've, I've been dealing with. I want to break fear and build faith. This is just a part one. I'm going to continue on this a little bit, but I'm heading to, uh, to another uh, couple of uh, things that I'm doing now. But I'm telling you this. God wants to break all fear out of your life. 
I want to see it broken out of your life. I want you to rise up in faith and in boldness and in courage and live according to his plan. And I believe in God's mercy to protect you. I want to speak that over your life. His mercy to protect you and to give you his promises fulfilled and manifested because you are the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, according to the word of God. One thing I've been breaking, and we have to break, is this uh, demons that like to do the video game thing on you. They want to want your, your head to replay the past. But we need to pre-play the future, pre-play the future, not replay the past. Isaiah 43, 18 says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old, because I'm going to do a new thing, says the Lord, verse 19. And verse 20 says, I'll even make rivers of water, of living water, to run in the, in the dry places, where it was desert, wilderness, wherever you've been. Could be seem dry in your environment. New water, oh God, the river of heaven is going to flow. Yes, Lord. And fear needs to be broken. And replaying the past. You got to shut that thing off. You know, when you, you know you got the victory. You're walking in some kind of great anointing when, when the Lord begins to just show you things to come like this and all these prophetic flows begin to come. He's getting, he's getting you ready for the next day. He's, he's opening new things for you. And uh, I had a phenomenal dream this morning. Let me say this while I'm on. I had a phenomenal dream. I was in... A television studio, a big global television network. It was kind of like TBN, but I don't know if it was TBN. Maybe it was TBN back in the day when they were like the hot thing, when everybody was tuning in, you know, that kind of live thing. And there was an opening, and there was some music, and then there was a host, and then it was, it was, on, it was on this big, beautiful platform, a multifaceted thing. It just wasn't a sit down at a table in a chair. It had the stage, and it had all these other lights and things, you know. And there was a time to, uh, when they asked me, get ready, your segment's coming on next. And they asked me to stand up. And my part was to prophesy. Imagine that, to prophesy. And I began to declare, I heard this, I declare over the United States of America uh, an economic upswing and stability. A lot, a lot of people saying there's going to be economic crashes. You know, people have been saying that, and I don't know. I hope not, but right now there's an economic rebuilding that's been going on. And I pray it lasts forever, but, you know, the end days will come when things will get chaotic, you know, regardless of that. But we as God's people are to be blessed. And I heard the Lord say, uh, new things will be going to begin to happen in the body of Christ to for people to get activated. You know, it's just such powerful prophetic words. The other day I was in a meeting in uh, a place and all these people came up to me after I spoke there and they were saying how blessed they were. They said, I, we've, been we've been literally looking for someone to listen to of late and haven't found hardly anyone that we really enjoy. But you're the one who has this anointing. You're the one who's carrying the message. And they said, you're, you're a prophet you know, to speak this thing. And one of them mentioned Kim Clement, bless his heart, he's gone on to be with the Lord. They said, I, I, I see you in, in that way of prophesying like that with such power. And I thought, great. And, you know, there's something about placement also, being in the right place at the right time, that causes your faith to go to a higher level. But I just love what's, ha what's happening today. It's a great day. I just wanted to open up this thing here and want to say I am breaking in Jesus' name all depression and fear out of your life. All that garbage has to go and faith and courage and confidence needs to come into your, uh, flood your mind and heart to believe God for the next thing that he's about to open. New doors are going to open, new things are going to open, and I want to challenge you also to sow into this anointing right now today. A $50 seed or a $100 seed, a $200 seed or a $300 seed, whatever the Lord would talk to you to sow right now in those even numbers, 50, 100, 200, 300 or more, or whatever the best you can do to sow on thomasmanton.com. Just click on the website. 
you'll see the donate button go right there and there's other options you can do by cash app uh, the information will be in the comments section dollar sign dr thomas manton paypal.me forward sign thomas manton without the dr just forward sign thomas manton and uh, the website thomasmanton.com if you're in kenya you can m pesa a seed to 0792 320780 again 079 this is just for Kenya only 0792 320780 that number also works on WhatsApp and the area code the country code is plus 254 and then 792 320780 if you'd like to send me a message by WhatsApp USA number is plus one seven four seven two six faith one seven four seven two six faith which is two six three two four eight four seven four seven United States plus one if you're calling from outside seven four seven like the seven forty seven jet you know two six faith which is plus one seven four seven two six three Two four eight four, two six three two four eight four. Area code seven four seven. And thank you, my friends. If you can put those on the screen for me, I love you for that. I appreciate you for that and helping in all the ways you're helping. And you need to sow a seed. You need to you need to put your faith out there. Fifty, a hundred, two hundred, or three hundred. I heard those four levels. Do something right now. If you could do 100, 50 is not the right one. If you could do 200, 100 is not the right one. If you could do 300, 200 is not the right one. I'm challenging my friends everywhere. Some, many of you have been listening to me and getting blessed. It's time to sow. Do it right now. As soon as we switch off here, or you can do it if you have another phone or device. Or the minute I hit, psh, we're done in a minute or so. And you could just do that seed right now. Right now, don't wait till later today. Don't put it off that you'll have to come back to it. Do it now. Cash app, dollar sign, DR Thomas Manton. PayPal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. But the website has the details also. And also, my phone number is there. The phone number is there. Direct to us. Um, www.thomasmanton.com. And I'm looking for your seed. I got a seed uh, sent by a dear uh, fellow servant of God from Africa today. They sent me on, on uh, Cash App. It works great. And on debit cards, there's no fee. There's no percentage either side. It just comes straight through. Uh, the other one's credit card. Things have a little fee, so what? 3% or whatever. So what are you going to do? That's just the cost of doing business. So praise God. Father, I thank you for the touch of heaven, and I pray the harvest is a greater confidence, a greater boldness, the spirit of a new anointing of faith, and the breaking of the demons of fear and anxiety off of my friend in Jesus' name. You need to connect and say amen in agreement, and you need to sow a seed. I really feel that this is going to be a liberation moment for you. And you, my friends, you need this breakthrough in your life. I'm waiting to hear from you. I'm Thomas Manton IV. Got to go. I love you. Praying for you. I'm breaking fear and building faith. And I'll continue in this. The Lord bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Waiting to hear from you. Amen. Make it a great day. Obey God.